feel like I have a little bit of a an emotional connection with this. I really enjoy this palette. I need to throw these away. This, this is gorgeous. Hey guys, so welcome to part two of the NYX review. Today is all about eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, anything eye related basically. I have a huge amount of products so I'm just gonna get into this. First of all with eyeshadow palettes, I used to have the Perfect Filter palette. I don't particularly wear a lot of warm tone eyeshadows anymore so I did give that away but it was really nice, it did blend nicely. It wasn't super pigmented, I feel like they have better pigmented eyeshadows nowadays but it was pretty good. It's great if you're leaning into makeup and you don't want a super expensive palette but you want a decent amount of shades. I also had the Ultimate palette, again, loads of warm tones so I gave it away and it was very similar in a way to the perfect filter the perfect filter had bigger pans and the ultimate was more like compact I guess and lastly from the palettes I don't have anymore I had the mochi palette so the mochi palette was like a it was like a cream palette because you could like literally press into it and it would meld to your finger it was almost like a cushion but I didn't love the pigmentation of it I Saw a few reviews of it and thought it looked pretty cool, so I tried it out and I just wasn't impressed. However, I have a bunch of these palettes. I will be honest, I don't gravitate towards these anymore. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, why would I gravitate towards these? The NYX Lingerie used to be my favourite matte palette. I feel like I have a little bit of a, an emotional connection with this. There's so many times where I would gravitate towards like the warmer shades in here and these cool tone shades. I never really used the pink or the lilac. But I loved these colours. They blend really nicely. I have I have no problems with this palette. It is a little bit bulky. The eyeshadows themselves are really, really nice. I just have so many other things. This is the Cosmic Metals. Similar kind of thing, but these are all shimmers. I used this shade today on my inner corner, although I did end up using the face palette um, just to top it up. They're really pretty, really pigmented. They're nice shades. This was the highlighter palette. I just... Do I need an all shimmer palette? No. But they are nice, so when I probably eventually declutter this, I think anyone who wants really nice shimmers would love this. However, this one I'm not decluttering. This has, again, like a piece of my soul. This is like a holiday special, and it has... The only colour I don't like in this is the pink. Everything else is gorgeous. Like, it has this green in here. Greeny bronze kind of shade. I love it. Also this, like... It's matte green, this matte white to set your lid, and then like these ones to deepen. I love this. I love this as like a little holiday palette. I think this has enough mattes and everything to kind of get you by it, and I, re I really like the shade selection, except for this pink. Get rid of that pink. If you want a substantially amazing palette, you need to swear by it. This swear by it palette I actually have all over my eyes today. I used some of the Rita tones in here. I really enjoy this palette. This is one of my favourite overall palettes. But if you want a palette with a bunch of really pigmented, easy to blend shades and you want to get really creative, this is so good because you have like yellows, mustards, greens, blues, reds, browns, creamy colours, like neutral looks. You have everything you need here, I feel like. The only thing is it doesn't have a mirror, but you get to see all these beautiful colours every time you grab it. Then I have just a bunch of the eyeshadow primers. I have only tried the glitter primer and I swear by this. I actually use this all over my lid today to see what it's like as a regular eyeshadow primer. So I'll leave a comment on the screen to let you know how it fared. But I definitely love to use this if I want to put a glitter on or something like that. I've heard the medium adhesive is really good as well for like loose glitters and things like that. I love the hollow packaging too. It's really cool. This is about eight quid. So it seems expensive, but this would last you forever. <laughs> the eyeliners. This matte Eyeliner is the eyeliner I'm wearing right now. I love this matte eyeliner. I think it's fantastic. The only problem I have with it, it has a super bendable applicator. I don't like those like bendable brushes to do eyeliner, especially if I'm going to try and do a wing. It's super affordable. It's really, really matte. It's a great alternative to the Balm Schwing. The Balm Schwing doesn't have a flexible tip, which is why I prefer it. If you do want more flexibility, this is fabulous. For similar reason, I don't love these brights. I don't gravitate towards bright eyeliners, so I have no idea why I bought these. I need to throw these away. This, this is what happens when you have board makeup. Are the other ones exactly like that? Oh, this one's not too bad. You can see it's got like a really flexible tip. It's not easy to use. If you want a bright eyeliner, they're good. I forgot to mention eyeshadows. I'm so glad I have refound this. This is what is on the middle of my eyelids. That kind of cool tone mauve shade. 
is this thing. This is gorgeous. Now I remember why I picked this up. I was like, why did I pick up that shade? That's such a random shade to buy. This is gorgeous. I love these kind of cool tone mauvey shades. Like I'm just a cool tone kind of girl. Love these kind of shades. They go well with like warm tones and cool tones. This is in Night Glow and it's beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be using this more often. Just a couple more things. I have the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On. Have a little low. Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. So Nyx have a bunch of these kind of eyeliners and I got the like bronzy one and I have put it on my waterline. But you can see how like beautiful this shade is. This is in shade, what shade is it in? Golden Bronze. It did glide on fantastically well. So um, I, have, I haven't tried out any other eyeliner shades. Maybe just swatch them in store and if they're nice and creamy and pigmented when you swatch them, then I would say they're probably fine. Speaking of eyeliners, I did used to have the NYX Trésorly. Uh, eyeliners. I had a brown one and I used to love it. It was my go-to brown eyeliner, um, but it dried out. But lastly for eyes, um, I have this number 17 brush and this number 10 brush. These were some of the first brushes I got, believe it or not. I like this as a crease brush because um, it's more fluffy and flimsy. Um, and then this was the first ever, believe it or not, kind of flat brush that I got. Um, I don't really use it anymore because it's a bit thick, like I prefer thinner kind of brushes nowadays. I have e.l.f. ones that I prefer to these, I honestly don't even grab for them, but I thought I'd just mention they are nice quality, I have no problem with that, they look nice and professional because they're like black on black. They're fine, I just, to be honest they're probably a little expensive. So that is everything for the eyes, please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it, I would really really appreciate it. I will have part 3 very soon for the lips. Just so you guys know I'm trying to post every Tuesday and every Saturday. Um, there may be a little bonus video in between of something that like I personally want to post, whether it's a call out of a YouTuber or if it's just like a little day out vlog. I hope to see you all next time in part 3. Bye!